how do I analyze the markets? How do I tell if it's a trending market? How do I find an entry? That are questions that I get asked really, really often. So in this video, we will, I will show you four simple steps to analyze the one hour chart. So by the end of this video, you will be ready to professionally analyze the one hour chart. So let's start right away. First step is to find the underlying trend. So to find the underlying trend, there's two ways in order to do that. First, and maybe for you to start out, if you're a beginner, is the easiest way to take a higher time frame, for example, the four hour chart, and take a look there, what the underlying trend is there. It's usually easier to tell because it's already zoomed out and um, you have less candles than just zooming out because you have only the four hour candles and it usually tells you where the trend is going. Second option, you can still use the one hour chart but zoom it out. But like I said, um, for you, especially in the beginning, it's easier to take the four hour chart, for example, or maybe even take a look at the daily chart if it really helps you to put an order into the market to really tell which really is the ongoing trend. Another tip I can give you, you can also use the moving average, for example, an indicator. The moving average can help you to analyze if it's an uptrend or a downtrend. The moving average shows you the last certain number of candles. So usually, if the moving average is moving upwards, you're in an upwards trend. And when the moving average is moving downwards, you're in a downwards trend. But be cautious, of course, it's not always like that. It's just a help in order for you. You will definitely have to take a look at the market yourself and analyze yourself because the moving average is just a tool and especially and the turning points it's maybe a little bit slower sometimes than your eyes can tell. So let's step to number two. Once we find the underlying trend, we need to classify trend and movement. And this we are doing through support and resistance. So second step is to draw in the support and resistance levels. But really make sure that you only draw in the really significant support and resistance levels. Only the big turning points because those are the ones that are really relevant. And if you want to know more about the support and resistance levels, go to my YouTube channel. I have an extra video just on support and resistance levels, and that will help you to do that in a good way and to learn that really fast how that works. So as third step, are we in a movement or in a correction and are we doing this within a trend or within a sideways range? And one tip I can give you is to use high Kinashi candles for that. Because if you're using the Haikinashi candles chart, it will help you to really take a look at the chart and to tell if we are in a movement or correction. 
And a second tip, use the characteristic of the candles. So if you have a look at the characteristic of the candles, for example, when the candles are really chubby and having long wicks, then it is more likely that we're in a sideways range or the market is in indecision. So the bulls and bears can really agree. So this is a really good indication for that. And if you have really long candles with big bodies and almost no wicks, for example, it's an indication for a big movement and a trending market. So let's jump to our fourth point for today. Have a look and do a fundamental analysis. This means check the news. Check the news and also the correlation to other other currency pairs. So for example, and investing.com, you can have a look and go on the news page and there you can look up exactly which news are coming at what time and especially which markets are really affected by it. And what's really important too is the correlation to other currency pairs. So for example, the Euro US dollar or the Euro Japanese yen. So if there's news or arguments coming into the market that are um, making the Euro really weak, for example, it may show in Euro US dollar really fast. And in Euro Japanese yen, for example, it will come too, but you can't see it that fast. So that way, through the correlation, is it's a high chance that if the euro you asked or the euro is making weakness, then it's affected, of course, by the Japanese yen, euro Japanese yen as well. So it's likely that, that there's weakness coming into the market as well. So that's why correlations between currency pairs is a really good indication for you as well. So these are four simple steps to analyze the one hour chart in a really quick but really sufficient way. So let's sum up. First, find the underlying trend. Zoom out of the chart, go on a higher time frame, and then you get a better picture and a clearer picture for you in order to tell. And if you need some help, just add an indicator, for example, the moving average. It will help you. Second step, classify the trend and movement. Once you have the trend, find the really important support and resistance levels. Really keep in mind only the significant ones because these are the ones are, that are really relevant for your trading. Uh, for example, for your trade entry is where you put your stop loss and your target and so on. So, and the third point, Movement or correction in an ongoing trend or in the sideways range really important as well for your trading since you really need to know of course which direction you want to trade and also where to find a good entry if the trade is going on for some while now so maybe ending soon or if it's new so really important before you enter a trade and I can recommend use the Heiken Ashi candles and take a closer look at the characteristic of the candles. Once you have done so, you can put a fourth point to it, check the news, check the correlation to other currency pairs and that will prepare you really well. And then you have done a quite good analysis of the one hour chart and you can concentrate with this information now on the entry into the chart. With these facts, we have been trading really well during the last weeks in my trading group. We have big long runners within our trades that make the big profits. We have made in the last two weeks 16% onto our account. And if you're interested in joining, you'll find below this video a link to my Telegram group. 
that's it for today. I'll be happy to meet you in my group. And if not, we're gonna meet here at YouTube again next week. Bye bye.